Hello everyone. This video will show how to classify conic sections given its equation in general form. The general form of conic section is ax squared plus bxy plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals zero. Now here are the rules. A given equation is a parabola if only one variable is squared. A conic section equation is a circle if the coefficients of both x squared and y squared are equal or the same. And it's going to be an ellipse if the coefficients of x squared and y squared are of the same sign but of different values. And it's going to be a hyperbola if the coefficients of both x squared and y squared have different signs. So that means the other one is positive while the other one is negative. Now let's go over some examples. In this example, you will see that only one variable is squared, and that is the x squared. This tells us that this is an example of a parabola. In this second example, you can see that the coefficients of x squared and y squared have different signs. The other one is a positive 2, while the other one is negative 3. Now, we remember the coefficients of the squared variable, x squared and y squared, have different signs. This is an example, then, of a hyperbola. In this third example, we can see that both the coefficients of the squared variable, that is the x squared and y squared, is negative 5. This tells us that since these two values are the same or equal, this is an example of a circle. In this fourth example, we can see that the signs of the squared variable, that's the x squared and the y squared, are both negative. So we got a negative 7 and a negative 3. Now, since these two numbers are not the same, negative 7 and negative 3, we can go ahead and say that this fourth example is an ellipse because the coefficients of x squared and y squared are of the same signs, it's negative, but of different values. Now let's go over some more examples. In this example, the coefficient of both squared variables is the same or equal, which is 3 and 3. This tells us that this is an example of a circle. In this next example, the coefficients of the squared variable x squared and y squared have different signs. That's a negative 4 and we also have a positive 5. The other one is negative, the other one is positive. This tells us that this is an example of a hyperbola. In this example, the coefficients of x squared and y squared are of the same sign. Both are positive, but the values are different. The other one, the x squared has 5, while the y squared has 2. This tells us that this is an example of an ellipse. In this last example, we can see that only one variable is squared, and that is y squared. This tells us that this is an example of a parabola. Again, these are the rules for us to be able to classify a given conic section equation in general form. That's it. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing and hitting the like button for more math videos. See ya!